to another edition of Safer at Home Stories. I'm here today with Eric L. Bailey, Sr. He's a host, a producer, a director, musician, a million other things. Uh, Eric, how are you today? I'm doing just great, Jared. Awesome. Great. I love your setup over there. You well, are clearly uh, really good at the telecommuting, shooting at home scene. Well, I try to be, you know, I've been quarantined for going on three weeks now and mm -hmm. I'm just trying to put my creative juices together. Yeah. Speaking of your creative juices, I've been checking out, you're making some quick tips from home. I've been loving them. They're not the kind of quick tips you often see. You, you have ideas that I've never seen anywhere else before. Uh, one of your quick tips was making a custom windscreen for a phone. Another one was making a battery for the phone. So where do you come up with these ideas? Well, you know, Jared, I've been broke most of my life. <laughs> so I always had to get creative with things. And a lot of these ideas is probably floating around the internet anyway. But I just try to make it where you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money to put together something that you probably can use every day. That's right. And we're, we're putting these quick tips into the Safer at Home uh, viewing package so people get a chance to see them at the end of our conversation here. Um, so you're kind of, so those ideas they you invented, you essentially invented those ideas. Well, not really. I invented the peanut butter and jelly together in a jar, but somebody else got the credit for that. <laughs> <laughs> I was six, man. <laughs> Were you making that uh, at home custom? Yeah. Or you just yeah. had the idea? No, no, I was doing that anyway. You know, when, as a kid, we was like, how come we got to get two pieces, I mean, two different jars, Yeah. You know, make a mess of everything, they should combine it. Yeah. I was too young to get a patent anyway. Yeah. But a lot of these ideas that I come up with today is um, things that I tried in the past. Uh, I'm pretty sure um, people is uh, doing the same stuff, you know. Like I mentioned before, I try to make things affordable for the consumers at home. Mm -hmm. Like um, I have a video I just, I haven't put it up yet, but it's about um, charging your cell phone off of a nine volt battery. Now these nine volt batteries, I see them in a the nine nine cent store a lot. Nobody even uses nine volt batteries anymore. The only thing you use a nine volt battery is for your smoke detector. Mm -hmm. And you only think about that once a year. Yeah. So I rigged up a gadget on charging a cell phone, 50% charging power off of a nine volt battery. Yeah, and how fast does it charge? <laughs> Probably take forever, but um, if you if your um, cell phone is dying or on, you know, all of us go through this where you get the red bar mm -hmm. and you got two choices, either wait it out or try to get a quick fix somewhere. But if you have a nine volt battery and a uh, uh, paper clip, you can charge your phone up. That's great. And why don't we just show the viewers that video right now? Sure. Go for it. Hi, this is Eric and I'm here with your 60 second quick tip. Have this ever happened to you? You have a charger, but no way to charge your phone. I'm going to show you a workaround. Use this only as a last resort. To get started, you will need these four items. Paper clip, one nine volt battery, car charger, and any tape of your choice. First, you will cut one inch piece of tape. Next, you will place the tape over the paper clip. Place the paper clip over the metal contact points. Secure it with tape. And make sure the paper clip is lined to the tip of the point of the charger. Next, you'll take your 9 volt. Remember, the paper clip goes on a larger contact. The tip of the charger goes on a smaller contact. If your charger is equipped with a ready light, this means that you are drawing power from the battery. Now, let's connect your cell phone cable to the charger. Make sure it's lined up. 
Now, you should be getting power to the cell phone. This is your quick tip for today. And we're back. The viewers just saw that. Okay, so behind you, uh, we see some promotion for Behind the Curtains, which is a, a show you produce. So now that we're all kind of on a forced hiatus, staying safer at home, what are you, what's, what are you doing moving forward with Behind the Curtains? Well, I have um, almost 70 episodes. You know, I'm throwing a bunch of reruns out there. Keep me going for a while. But um, right now, I'm just uh, putting together some acts for next season or to the end of this uh, quarantine is over with. And I'll uh, try to take it from there. That's great. But, That's um, I'm not, I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm just going to be creative with something else. I've been uh, writing scripts lately. You know, Excellent. I'm trying to put my creative flows into that. So I'm just keeping all my options open. And are you producing music at home too? Uh, the music thing was in the past, but um, yeah, I do stuff here and there for friends. Yeah. As long as I've known you, you're always a guy who is extremely helpful to others with your time, with your knowledge, um, and just being there for people to help with their productions, whether it's a TV show or a short film. Uh, how are you feeling with that not being present in your life right now. You're not able to go uh, work on someone's show or, or movie. How does that feel? Well, <clears throat> I think the first week I was probably going through a withdrawal, probably like all other volunteers. But what I have that a lot of other volunteers don't have is uh, I have multiple stuff that I can get involved with to kind of um, pass time or re-educate myself. I like a challenge. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not the type of person that is sit in one spot and just waste time, you know, try to stay active. Yeah. Well, that's good. You're, for, you're fortunate in that way. So are you um, working from home or are you furloughed or what's your work status? My work from home is basically replying to emails, but I still go to work twice a week uh, for four hours a day. Um, roughly Tuesdays and Thursdays. But um, the good thing about my job, I get paid for the whole 40 hours per week. So I'm not losing nothing there, but sleep <laughs> mm-hmm. on the Tuesday and Thursday when I do have to go in. Mm-hmm. How does it emotionally feel uh, what the country and yourself are going through right now, staying safer at home? How are Well, you know, well, you know Jared, as uh, TV people like you and myself, uh, we try to stay away from TV and um, it's depressing, you know, but something good going to come out of this, uh, especially for me, because um, with this president, you know, he's constantly writing my scripts for me. <laughs> yeah. So you're getting inspired. For your I'm getting inspired by a lot of people. Uh, so do you have any uh, unique stories of anything that's happened to you over the last week? Um, something you didn't expect to come out of? Not really. I've just been staying in the house um, for a while. I go out and get groceries. Um, Sometimes I have to go to multiple stores looking for toilet paper. But the funny thing is the mood has changed among us being American citizens, especially when it comes to greeting people. Uh, You can't shake hands anymore. Hugging is basically a no-no. Everybody staying there six feet distance. Uh, the grocery store has changed. If you notice, every major grocery store have these, um, I call it the mapping system, where they have uh, labels on the floor telling you, well, mm-hmm. you need to stay six feet apart from the person in front of you. You know, and they constantly got um, uh, courtesy clerks wiping down refrigerators and uh, baskets, anything you touch. So our whole way of thinking um, once we get out of this stuff, um, might go beyond, you know, no more touching because as American citizens, we're afraid. And I think the media plays a big part of that. Yeah. I saw someone else say that they said the handshake is dead after this. Cause a lot of people were already kind of graduating to the fist right. as we all got a little bit more, we've already become more germaphobic as a culture. And a lot of people were already fist bumping, no handshakes. 
So it's possible that the handshake is just dead. Well, it's, I say the handshake is like rock and roll. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> but you know, another thing I noticed, and you probably noticed, and your um, viewers, they probably noticed this too. But uh, we all used to run across an uh, uh, older lady, and she used to have a dust mask on and the gloves. We used to laugh at it. Now it's common. Everybody is wearing them. Matter of fact, we're wearing them so much. A box of gloves probably cost you 80 bucks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you think people might continue after this to uh, wear masks protectively, wear gloves, or be more germ so. conscious? I think so. It's like the vegan people, you know. First, it was a fad. Now everybody wants to be vegan. And, you know, now everybody wants to wear gloves. And they had a designer mask out there, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, I've been sewing masks at home because I uh, couldn't find any. And I've been wearing the same one for weeks. So I said I had old pillowcases. And so I started making masks out of old pillowcases. Yep. So I'll put in a picture here. There we go. We just saw the picture. Matter of fact, uh, I took an old beanie, split it down the back, folded it, used it as a mask. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Hey, why not? It's better than nothing, right? Yeah. Well, we got all the time in the world to come get creative. Yeah. (laughs) And have you been uh, reaching out to people on the phone or the internet to spark conversations with people you hadn't talked to in years? Actually. I don't have to reach out to everybody. They're like a magnet toward me because every day I'm either on the phone, FaceTiming, Zoom, Google Meet, you know, that's the norm now. And it's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. So you're using a technology, you mentioned a few technological platforms. You're having more conversations than you used to with people online through the phone and stuff. Yes, you're absolutely right. And uh, we're on Zoom right now. What technology are you using? A laptop, a computer, or your phone? I like my phone better. Um, I have the Galaxy uh, 10 Plus. And, you know, with Galaxies, they came out with the 4K uh, years ago before Apple. So I compared it against my um, iPad. And the iPad is more grainy than the Galaxy. You know, the Galaxy photos come out nice. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, um, all the little um, short videos that I did, I just done it on the ba- uh, Galaxy. I could use a better phone. camera. You know, I got multiple cameras, but I try to keep things simple. Yeah. You know, if you have a regular phone, you know, that's what I'm trying to use to promote my PSAs. Mm-hmm. And you're a very tech savvy guy. So this is kind of your wheelhouse. What's going yep. on right now? And you obviously have a lot of technology. You know how to use it and be creative with it. Do you have advice or uh, tips that we haven't mentioned yet that someone could use today? um, Reach out to your older family members and uh, try to get them on board with uh, some type of technology because uh, we're going forward with, you know, the stuff that we're doing now with uh, Zoom and Google Meet and other platforms. And, you know, you just don't want to be left behind. I remember when uh, uh, the ATM machines came out. They used to call them Versatile machines. People were scared of it. You know, it was like, I'm not going near that thing. (laughs) Mm -hmm. But now, nobody carry cash anymore. Yeah. So it's just a totally different environment. And And technology is the the proof of it. And that's a good point. The the way we are staying connected is through technology. So maybe – to combat loneliness and isolation. We do have these tools that we didn't used to have, uh, but is it, is it possible some people are slipping through the cracks? You know, the older generations or less technologically savvy people who may not have the knowledge to use these tools. Is there a way we can reach them? Because if we make an online tutorial, they aren't going to see it. So, well, I like think- what, I like what the governor is doing. Um, uh- he has his own media team, but he streams all of his uh, press conferences mm-hmm. over the internet. So you can get it on television and social media. It's the same camera, you know, mm-hmm. they just stream it. 
but with the uh, senior citizens, you know, it's kind of tough, but there's a lot of them that's tech savvy. I have uncles that's in their 80s. Yeah. And they're on Facebook more than me, you know? Yeah, that's true. And so for me, like I've tried to think about who do I know in my life? And so I just talked to my parents on the phone and tried to try to tell them about different apps they could use so that if they wanted to, they can use the tools they have and get a little bit more savvy on them. So yeah. maybe people out there can just reach out to people they know and make sure that they have the, the tools they need to be able to connect with the outside world because we're all isolated, but we really have to forge these connections. We do. And another thing is um, a lot of people are going nuts staying in the house. Me, I love it. You know, crime is low. Um, the weather is clear. Well, it's raining now, but, you know, there is no smog. Uh, when I'm driving down the street, I go over an overpass and you don't see hardly any traffic on the freeways. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just nice right now. And um, as a community and as a nation, we're getting closer. We're bonding with our neighbors. Yes. I've seen neighbors jogging up and down the street with their dogs, and I haven't seen these people in years. Well, you still got to stay six feet away from them, though. So. Well, of course. You know, I'm on the porch here in the <laughs> you streets. Can yell, hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very cool. So you're a, you're a family guy. Um, you have kids and everything. They're, uh, some of your kids are older. What's the situation of – where where people choose to hunker down and self isolate? Are you uh, missing any of your kids? Is it created neat, unique connections? Not really. Um, they're all tech savvy, so um, you know uh, how I learned how to text actually is, was through them. You know, <laughs> calling them, they wouldn't answer, but they'd text you. So um, you know, we Facetime or get on a group call yeah. type thing. You know, Zoom or other platforms. I mean, it works out. Yeah. I know for me, like I missed milestones, like my mom's birthday and my brother's birthday, occasions where I would have normally visited them. Right. And so, Same. yeah, we had to use technology and FaceTime with one another. It's not, it's not quite the same. So it's, have you had moments where you're just missing out or having to adapt like that? Well, like I said, um, I'm always doing something anyway, but, um, no one in my family birthday came up. Uh, they're all just passed, actually. February, that's the biggest month mm -hmm. for my family, and July is the biggest month. So, um, you know, I, I look on um, TV, and a lot of people are doing, like, uh, block parties on the mm -hmm. porch with somebody's yeah. birthday or, you know, was sad about it. Like, uh, when a loved one passed away, you know, you basically can't mourn mm -hmm. like funerals or anything. And with the technology that we're using right now, I kind of feel bad for third world countries mm -hmm. because first of all, their internet infrastructure is not that great, you know, so everybody can't get online. Yeah. And in some cases. Yeah. And a lot of people I talk to are more active now in day to day things like simple things like cooking. So have you found that you're, Eat simple habits uh, in the day change, like exercise, meals, sleep, simple habits. How have those adapted and what are you doing? I'm an early bird anyway, so I keep my, um, my work schedule going so I won't get too relaxed. As far as cooking, I cook like maybe 300 days out the year. And the wife probably cook 40 of those days, maybe normally on the big holidays. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know. I haven't been cooking that much because I've been online a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we've been eating a lot of TV dinners, sandwiches, and, you know. Oh, Eric, come on. You can <laughs> you use this time to get better in the kitchen, you know? Oh, yeah. I like to offer recommendations to people. Do you have recommendations uh, for anything that people can be doing to keep themselves occupied? Remote art shows, books, oh. movies to watch. I will suggest, you know, since all of us have a lot of downtime, uh, take an online course in anything, you know, um, get your education together because that's the key. You know, uh, you know, if you have uh, 
kids is out of work or maybe relatives and nothing, try to encourage them to go back to school. Mm-hmm. You know, we're going to be riding this thing out for a long time, at least till October. No, maybe um, August. Yeah. And that's a great point. A lot of, obviously a lot of schools are move, have moved online and there are even special classes, everything yeah. from, you know, your traditional education to, yeah. um, there's online exercise, yoga, meditation classes. Yeah. And a, a lot of, um, these are free. Even universities are offering, uh, public, um, educa- education courses for free workshops for free. So um, you can either pay for trainings and classes or uh, find free ones out there. I will suggest one free one that's really po- uh, popular. It's uh, UC Berkeley. Um, they have a free extension program where they get um, all the big universities involved to teach their own, like, uh, say, um, Purdue might be the school of business. That might be one course. You might have UCLA teaching science, but they call it the University X. I suggest checking it out. It's free. You uh, go at your own pace. And if you want to get a certificate, it costs you like maybe 40 bucks for That's a really digital, good. digital certificate. Yeah, and I'll, I'll put a link in that here. That's a great idea, taking a you know, a university level course for and free. These courses are only like uh, three weeks, I think, three to four weeks. Mm-hmm. But it's at your own self pace. Yeah, yeah. And what um, what TV shows are you watching right now? <sighs> Man, I do throwback shows. I'm a big fan of Mash. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, Star Trek. Mm-hmm. I do um, NCIS, LA, NCIS, uh, New Orleans, and the original NCIS. You know, I like war movies. You know, yeah, I know you love a lot of documentaries. War movies, yeah. yeah. So um, that's great. So, any any channels you recommend to catch these? I know uh, I would recommend uh, Pluto to people who have a Roku. I have Pluto. Yeah, get Roku. Pluto. It has a lot yeah. of channels with these classic shows you mentioned. And um, Tubi, uh, Tubi. Mm-hmm. they have a lot of movie channels. Um, that's also on Roku. It's like yeah. we promoting Roku now. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, why not? If if you if people have a Roku, get the, you can get these things for free that we mentioned. Uh, so they're yeah. kind of worthwhile uh, apps to download. Yeah, that's um, good. Plus, it, your time will pass by quicker. <laughs> Any inspiration, the words of inspiration you want to say to people to get through this? And Sure. Um, <clears throat> get closer to your relatives. Um, try not to watch the news so much. Um, you know, believe in the man above. And, you know, get a hobby. You know, you got to do something. It's like retiring, you know. You got to keep going. Do mm-hmm. something. Watch behind the curtains. There's like 70 episodes out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get that plug in. Go watch uh, <laughs> Behind the Curtains. And, and check and out uh, Eric's how-to videos that are coming through. I'll yeah, plug yeah. the um, Facebook page. You'll see those in the Facebook uh, community media producers page. I'll link that in here too. So you can yeah, go to that page, check it out on Facebook. Eric's videos will be posted there. And those are really great uh, words of wisdom. You're such a humble guy, but you're someone who's a happy person and you're someone who's a busy person. And your mind's uh, always engaged with something and you're always giving of yourself to others. And it seems to work for you really well So you're because you're a happy guy. So I would... Uh, offer to our viewers to uh, take in, er, follow Eric in these footsteps in that. Stay busy. If you're feeling, you know, uh, lonely, bored, isolated, reach out to someone in your life, but also think about how you can improve yourself, take an online course, uh, work on a hobby like Eric here, a man of many talents. So I want to thank you for talking with me today, Eric. Reach out anytime. Any, anything else to say before I let you go? You know, it's just been a wonderful 
time on your show, Jared, and it's always great to see you. I haven't seen you in a few weeks, man. Mm -hmm. You're like buds. <laughs> yeah. Pasadena. Our community is observing the Safer at Home order as issued by the City of Pasadena in accordance with Governor Newsom's recent state executive order. These are unprecedented times where we need to come together like never before, even when being physically separated. The Arroyo Channel, a public service of Pasadena Media, is your local community station. We are continuing to provide services to instruct the community in media and give people the tools to broadcast their unique voice. We are calling on you, the community, to use the tools available to you, like your smartphone camera, camera or your web camera to document your feelings and experiences during this time. We want your Safer at Home story and we want to share it through your community platform, the Arroyo Channel. Submit a video message to us and we may broadcast it on the Arroyo Channel and through social media. Reach out to us and we can even arrange an online interview. To send us your video or for more information, contact studio at PasadenaMedia.org. That's studio at PasadenaMedia.org. And until we see you in the studio again, remember Pasadena, stay safer at home.